Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve a problem about aspect ratios. We are going to determine the aspect ratios of two different aircraft and find out how this parameter of the wing affects the purpose and maneuverability of the aircraft. So here's our problem statement. Fighter jet F-16 has a wingspan of 32 feet and 8 inches and a wing area of 300 square feet. You might ask, where do I find these parameters? Usually Wikipedia has the correct numbers. And Boeing Phantom I HALE, H-A-L-E, which stands for High Altitude Long Endurance, has a wingspan of 150 feet and a cord of approximately 5 feet. We can assume a rectangular wing for this aircraft and now we need to calculate the aspect ratios of these two aircraft and think about the reasons for why they are different. So let's write down what we are given. For F-16 we have a wingspan of 32 feet and 8 inches and a wing area of 300 square feet or we can write feet squared. For Phantom Eye, we have a wingspan of 150 feet and a cord of 5 feet. We approximate this number because the wing is not completely rectangular, if you see the picture. So in order to calculate the aspect ratio, let's remember the formula from the previous video, which is wingspan squared divided by wing area. So for F-16 we know the wingspan and the wing area. But do we know it for Phantom Eye? Not necessarily. We know the wingspan but we don't know the area yet. Which we can calculate easily. If we look at a rectangular wing, we have a wingspan and a cord. So the area will be equal to B multiplied by C which is equal to 150 multiplied by 5 which gives us 750 square feet. So at this point we can find the aspect ratios but there is something we need to be careful about which is the units. For F16 we have feet and inches in the numerator and square feet in the denominator. So we need to get rid of inches. And how do we do that? Well, we need to remember that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So this means that 8 inches will be 8 divided by 12 feet which we make simpler, dividing by 4, which gives us two-thirds of a feet, and we transfer it to decimals, 0.67 feet. So the wingspan for F-16 would be 32 feet, plus 8 inches, which is 0.67 feet, which gives us 32.67 feet. And usually in aerodynamics we have English or imperial units, which are pounds, knots, and etc. So when you solve problems which have different units, you should still be careful about having the same units in the numerator and denominator. So let's finally find the aspect ratio for F-16. This will be 32.67 squared divided by 300 and you can calculate that which will give you 3.56 and what will be the units? There's no units because it's a ratio. And for phantom eye we do the same. We divide 150 squared by 750 and after you calculate it this will give you exactly 30. Okay, so here we have the results, 3.56 and 30. But in any problem, after you have found out the result, you need to think about what it means. 
So let's think about F-16 first. This is a fighter jet, so it needs to be extremely maneuverable. This is a military aircraft. And do we care about fuel efficiency? Not so much, because the military will provide as much fuel as needed. For the fighter jet, you need to have high speeds, which means you spend a lot of fuel. And Boeing Phantom Eye is a reconnaissance drone. Drones? Which basically means looking over one area over a long period of time. So for this aircraft, we need an ability to stay up in the air for as long as possible, which means we need to be as fuel efficient as possible. And how do we achieve that? By having a high aspect ratio, which means we will have a high lift to drag ratio. So this aircraft doesn't spend as much fuel to be able to stay up in the air. And is Phantom Eye highly maneuverable? Maneuverable. It doesn't have to be, because it just needs to fly in one orientation, having the camera pointing downwards. So let's write down the conclusion for this problem. With low aspect ratio, we have high maneuverability and low fuel efficiency, which results from low lift to drag ratio. And for high aspect ratio, we have the opposite, which is low maneuverability and high fuel efficiency, which results from high lift to drag ratio. So here you have it, the comparison of aspect ratios for two completely different aircraft with two completely different purposes. Don't forget to watch these two interesting videos about F-16 and Boeing Phantom Eye. And see you in the next video!